Good evening Hackology and welcome to another video. In tonight's video I thought we'd look at file format exploits and we're going to be demoing VLC Real Text, which is an old exploit discovered in 2008 but I thought it would be a good example to show you how file format exploits work. So the vulnerable systems affected are VLC 09.4 on XP Service Pack 3 and Windows 7 Service Pack 1. And in tonight's video, we're going to be using Backtrack 5R2 for the host machine and XP Service Pack 3 for the target machine running VLC 0.9.4. So, the first thing you'll need to do is boot up Metasploit, typing MSF console, and we're going to search for the VLC exploits by typing search space VLC. And we're going to use exploit windows file format forward stroke VLC underscore real text and if we just show the options to see what's available with this exploit and we can set the file name so we're going to call it something like Justin I don't know we could call it Justin Biber or something that would probably be quite a popular file And we're going to set the payload to the Windows Meterpreter payload, as we've used in past tutorials. And we're going to set the lhost variable for this. And double check we have all of our settings right. Once we're happy with the settings that we've got, if we just type exploit, this will generate the file and uh, root.msf4 local and whatever you called the file name. So you'll need to copy this onto a USB stick. Now, next we're going to set up the handler. So we'll type use exploit multi handler or use multi handler. And we'll set the payload to meterpreter. We're going to set the lhost variable to our machine. Check that we have all the options set correctly and type exploit to start the handler. So this is now waiting for connections um, into this machine. Uh, we're going to copy the files onto a USB stick and jump over to this computer and we're going to open the Justin MP4 file and if we jump back across to Metasploit you'll see uh, Meterpreter Session 1 has been spawned and we can run sysinfo to see more information about the system, get privs to up our privileges, we can jump into a shell, we can browse the files on the machine, and if we were really evil, we could uh, do some really sinister stuff. So, mitigation from this attack, keep VLC updated, um, whenever they release a patch or an update, make sure you download it um, and check you have automatic updates set for VLC. Hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode. We'll be back really soon. As always, have fun hacking. Peace.